I'd like to make it very clear that I absolutely understand, A, why they would want to do this, and B, that it makes perfectly good sense for business. And as you know, LeVar, I'm always about doing what's best. For business. For business. Sure. But F the Orioles, F all their fans, and F Peter Angelos. Uh, if you're from Baltimore, fine. I don't care. Root for them until your lungs turn orange. It doesn't make no never mind to me. But, but I, what about the people who said they, from Virginia or in different areas, they root for Baltimore because there was no team? That's fine. You have a team now. I rooted for but, the my, my family is has a lot of family in Illinois. I was a Cubs fan because we didn't have a team. I still check in on them. I still like to see them. I went to see them at spring training this year. I am a Nationals fan because now we finally have a team. And I'm going to support that team because it was a long, arduous process and many failed attempts to make it happen. You're spitting in the face of your own market here. So as a fan, this irritates the hell out of me. And it irritates the hell out of me when I tune into our midday show and I hear people calling in saying, well, I'm from rest and I want, should I just turn my back on my team? They're not your team. They're Baltimore's team. They're not yours. Oh, that's true. They're Baltimore, Maryland's team our team is the washington nationals and i don't like this billboard and if the, and if if i had my druthers the nationals would go on the other side of the billboard and slap a big fat w and say uh we won our division a couple years back we've got more superstars we got a newer stadium we got better food uh we don't think natty Bo is worth drinking all of the things that make this area better than that area, of which there are a plethora, I would emphasize. That's just as a fan. Business-wise, if it's legal, this is smart for Peter Angelos and the Orioles to do. I come at it from an angle where I am disappointed with the people that I'm from, that are from where I'm from. And we're going to get angry phone calls, and I'm going to get angry tweets, and I've danced this dance before. I've danced with this devil in the pale moonlight since the Nationals were here, since before I was doing sports talk radio with you, I've had arguments like this with people in bars, arguments with people like Grant Paulson. I just don't understand the process of not wanting to root for a team when you finally get one. You should be falling out of your corduroys to root for your hometown team, just how I was brought up. That's why I don't understand when people say, well, I'm Kobe fan, so I root for L.A., but I'm from Oxon Hill. Don't get you, sir. I don't get everyone that showed up in LeBron jerseys last night at the Verizon Center. I just don't get any, I don't get any of that. So my personal opinion is I don't like the billboard. I wish it wasn't up, but I understand it. What what I'm more upset with is that how many people in this area are are just they, they they've it's almost like that. What's that uh, Stockholm syndrome? It's almost like they've been kidnapped by another franchise and they refuse to see what their actions are doing. You're taking money out of the pocket of your own franchise. You're going to spend your money in another state, in another city that looks on us with disdain. I wish I could give you all a week to do sports talk radio in Baltimore and listen to the calls you get and listen to what those people say about us and about this market and about these teams and how they're booed and mocked and the anger and the vitriol. I don't have any of that. The Ravens can win a 1,000 Super Bowls or be contracted right now, and it wouldn't change my life at all. I just think that you would have some probably different perspective on whether or not you want to wear that stupid little bird hat if, if you knew the way they feel about this area and the people from this area.